Hey guys, it's Will here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the iPad Air 5th Gen in 2024. So this is my main iPad. Um, this is the first iPad that I've ever like actually had, um, because before this I never really understood like the point of having an iPad if I already have an iPhone. Basically, um, I use this to edit my videos sometimes. And really, if you're just like watching YouTube and stuff, um, I need to start using it to edit videos more. But it's just easier to just do it on my phone. But basically, um, this has the M1 chip. Um, let me just go to settings real quick. As you can see, it is a 5th gen. And I am running the iOS 18 beta on it. And it runs perfectly fine. Um, runs great. And I do actually have a case for it and an Apple Pencil. And a case and Apple Pencil have spawned. So, let's go ahead and put this on, I guess. And I basically just, as I already said, I use this for editing my videos sometimes. And for, um, like, watching YouTube and browsing eBay and stuff like that. And, yeah, this also does have... Um, touch ID, which I really like. Um, I don't like having to enter a password every time I want to use an iPad. And I don't use the Apple Pencil that much. This is the Apple Pencil 2 or whatever. Um, I don't use it that much just because um, there's not a lot of things that it's useful for. I do use it a lot for um, like thumbnails and stuff. If I need to like do something to a thumbnail, I usually use that and edit the thumbnail in um, the Photos app. But yeah, this chip is very powerful. Um, it's never, like, lagged at all for me. And I honestly don't really know what to say about it. It runs perfectly fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And I really like the M-Series chips. Um, I want to eventually get a M1 or M2 MacBook Pro, but... I don't really want to spend like a thousand dollars on a MacBook, so I'll probably get an M1 MacBook in like five years when they're a lot cheaper. But yeah, this I can't really compare this to other iPads. I would like to eventually get an older iPad, like an iPad 2 or 3, and just compare this to an iPad 2 and see how it has changed. But yeah, I guess that's basically it for this video. So, hope y'all enjoyed. Even please smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.